Hello and welcome to a Facebook project with CJ Card Creations. My name is Christy Hillock. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator with um, Stampin' Up! located here in Salt Lake City. And I have just a fun 3D project to show you today. So this cute little box is um, actually really simple to make and I just will adapt the measurements depending on what I'm trying to put in it. So this one is actually a little bit shorter and it will hold a Bath and Body Works, either the lotion or the travel um, body washes. But what I'm going to make now will actually hold one of these bottles, which this one is a fragrance spray, but incidentally, it is the same bottle as the antibacterial hand sprays that they have now. So let me get going on this and I'll show you just how easy this is to do. So we're going to start with a piece of shaded spruce cardstock and it, I've already cut it down. So it is eight and a half by 10 and a half. And I've heard this box referred to as a two, four, six, eight box before. The reason for that is that um, on the eight and a half inch side, so the short side, you score at two, four, six, and eight. And then when you rotate it, you're going to score at a half an inch and two and a half inches. Whoops, jump the track there. And then you're going to flip this 180 degrees and again, score at half an inch and two and a half inches. All right, so we can set the scoring board aside. And the first thing I'm going to do is just dig out my bone folder from all of the stuff I've been using to make these 3D projects. Maybe, or we might just move on with that. There it is. Okay, so I am going to just burnish all of these score lines quickly. So since I have been having trouble getting videos oriented properly and then even being able to go live at all, I decided this week just to go ahead and pre-record this video for you so that we would be sure that you have something on Thursday at 7.30 Mountain Time. So, um, I've also got a few other things that I'm going to try and one of those is going to be um, asking all of you to join my CJ Stampers group. So, that um, is... So this is a business page, and I think that sometimes using a business page makes it more complicated to do certain things. So a stampers group will have it be just exactly like other groups that you're in. So we'll try that. Um, so I would love it if you would also join that group. So the first thing that we're going to do as far as trimming this down so you can see that I have this half inch tab down here and then both sides have a half inch tab. So I am going to just cut out um, these little flaps. Make sure I'm staying in the screen here. And I am just mitering my edges like I always, or my corners like I always do just to make things all fit together a little more nicely. All right, now the next thing that I want to do is take, let's see, we are going to cut on these score lines. Okay. So I'm working on the, the two sides that are the same and just cutting up to that score line that gets to the body of the box. All right, so now once I've done that, you're starting to see how the box will form up. And this tab 
needs to come off. So we will go ahead and cut that here and get rid of it. And then same thing on the other side. Okay. And now I can get rid of a little bit more than just that half inch flap. And then I'm going to, again, just miter these corners. And then, so I just wanna make sure that I'm fiddling with the right ones. So this one that's in the back. Oh, no, let's see, what are we doing here? This way. This one that's in the back, I need to keep. And then these are the two sides that we're going to adjust. So, We'll trim this one down again, and so you can see, you're starting to see hopefully that um, it's going to be the same on each side. So those are actually the tops and bottoms of the box. All right, and then again, just come in and trim down these corners here. And the next thing that we'll do is get our detailed trio punch out. And that punch is just really nice for um, rounding these corners of the closure flap. So this is what the, the punch looks like. So you're going to take this flap that's still full size and just round these corners. There we go. And then we'll do it to the other end. And you just wanna fold those other flaps out of the way so that you can get all the way into this punch. And there you have it. So we'll get that to the side. And now I am just going to trim up a little bit more of the score line on this flap. Cutting straight is never my forte, so I end up, you know, trimming it and then trimming it a little more and then it's totally lopsided and that, that's when I call it or start again. But I think we're good on this. So now that we've got that done, this is, if you want to snap a picture, this is what your template ultimately looks like. So I'm going to set that to the side for a moment and we are going to get out our ink pad and do a little bit of stamping and a little bit of blender brushing. So got all my stray parts here and apparently a couple of other, no, there's two. So I am just missing one piece of designer series paper. I'm sure it'll turn up. Nobody ever knows where things fly off to in here. But we'll we'll just keep going and you'll get the idea. So this paper is actually from the cutest Halloween designer series paper stack. And what I did was take a non-Halloween piece and my pool party ink. So pool party is really good when you're trying to do snow type things. Um, like if you're stamping a snowman or want to do a, you know, a snow bank with a line, then pool party can be really just the way to go. So we will get this all. So it was white. Now it's just kind of a a rough pool party. It didn't, I didn't get even coverage, but I didn't really want even coverage. So we'll set all of that aside and then we are going to take our um, tree stamp. And so if you notice, I used the Majestic Mountain dies and also the coordinating stamp set. And I had all of these things here and there we go. They had wandered off. All right, so the Majestic Mountain Dies has mountains and a tree line and then the larger pine trees that are detailed and then also you can cut out the stamped trees. And the Mountain Air stamp set has, 
you know, all of these images. And it's unique because it is a double-sided stamp set. So you can stamp this and then flip the stamp and you get kind of just a fill-in color if you wanted to do it like that. So that is kind of a quick intro to how that stamp set works. And for today's stamp, I just need the detailed side. So I am going to ink up my tree stamp here with some shaded spruce and stamp that right there. Oh, and I don't love that one. So since I'm not using the Stamparatus, I really don't wanna try to line that up again. So I'm just going to re-stamp down here. All right. There we go, that looks a lot better. And while I have this ink pad open, I'm also going to take a sentiment from Banner Year, which this set is all sorts of seasonal sayings and images, and it's just really, really useful. So if you don't have this, you should definitely get it. Um, so I'm going to take the Be Merry stamp from that, as well as a piece of pool party cardstock here. And we'll just stamp that right down. All right, so that is actually it for the stamping on this project. And now I'm just going to run this through, um, through my die cutting machine. Oh, I'm struggling with finding the words today. So this is just the mini cut and emboss, which is really handy for smaller projects and if you're traveling with any of your your stampin supplies it's also really nice for that so if I can just find the die here you'd think I didn't prepare but honestly <laughs> just I don't know I should have done a better job cleaning up because I know that die was here a minute ago Well, maybe we will fussy cut this one because it is. Hmm. All right. Maybe what we'll do is put the box together and then see if that die magically reappears. So the first thing that I want to do as I'm putting this together is just put on the panels that make up the decoration on the sides. And these layers are one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And this is actually the back side. So that, just keep that in mind as we're going here. Um, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of liquid glue And I'll go ahead and do this front panel first. Okay, and then I actually have used so much of this designer series paper that I didn't have enough um, to do all four sides like I had done on this one. But I decided that a piece of pool party cardstock just embossed with the checks and dots embossing folder would look really cute too. So that is what we have here. And again, just a little bit of liquid glue. You could also use Stampin' Seal or Stampin' Seal Plus. Either one would be fine for this. Um, when you are doing 3D projects, it is important that the actual structural piece, so in, that, in this case, this shaded spruce box, needs to have a really strong adhesive. So either the liquid glue, the Seal Plus, or you can use tear and tape. Um, because the liquid glue also gives you a little bit of wiggle room, that is what I usually find myself using, but certainly there are times when tear and tape is a little more convenient. So, and seal plus as well. Um, okay, so there's that. Still don't see this panel, so I'm just gonna come back to that later. And I'm going to take liquid glue on this tab here and then because I wanna make sure that my box is square, the way that I put this together becomes pretty important. So I'm going to fold this together like this. So it's flat right now, you can see. Um, 
and just give that a little bit of time to set up there. All right, and then now you can tell more about how this box is coming together. So I'm just going to tuck in that bottom and flip this right side up and drop in my hand spray and close this one. So there is my box, although I don't like quite how that's closing. So I'm just going to trim, trim that down just a little bit more. Okay. The next thing that we'll do is just grab a piece of ribbon, and this is the Pool Party Striped Grograin Ribbon. And it's so pretty, I think. Even though Pool Party is not typically a Christmas or winter kind of color, it's really just a wonderful addition. And this ribbon is really nice to work with, too. So, whew. On the struggle bus today, that bolt just fell and unwound. So, always making life interesting. But I'm just going to tie a little bow with this. And then I always just tie it and then fiddle with it until the loops and the tails look right to me. So I think that's looking pretty good. Trim that off. Okay, set that aside. Now I've got um, two circles that I cut using the layering circle dies. So one is just in basic black, and then this one is in pool party. So I am going to just layer up these circles to start with. Okay, and then get my, oh, I found that die, you guys. I knew if I had just cleaned up a little, it would appear. So now we need to figure out where I've set these other bits. So I'm just going to um, line up that die with the stamped image and then run it through. And if you've never used a die cutting machine, it's really a magical tool because you don't have to fussy cut all these things. So I'm just getting my plates situated here. And with this machine, you do have to make sure that everything is lined up really straight or it won't fit through. But we have got it going now. Okay. And voila, there is our piece of trees. And it moved just a little bit. I should have used some, um, some of my post-it tape, but it's not a situation where it matters too terribly much. So I'm just going to kind of lay these out now to see how I want this on my circle. So what I will do, and for this I'm going to use just regular seal just to get enough adhesive down that I can hold on to this detailed tree cut out. And once I've done that, then I can come back over here with my liquid glue. Let's see. I don't want to put glue all over everywhere but we'll get just right in the center here. And line that up. And again, a little bit of wiggle room is always nice. Okay, and now I'm going to just take my sentiment and trim down the, the, you know, the side there and get a little bit of glue. You could also pop up the banner, but I was just afraid that if I did too much popping up, it would not, um, like it might get caught as it was in um, 
you know, being handed around or whatever. And I'm also going to trim down this detailed die cut just because I don't want a bunch of that hanging out. So now we can take some dimensionals. Things just have a way of vanishing on me. Um, okay. I bet you guys have all experienced that where it's right in front of you, but you have so many things on your surface that it's hard to find any one thing at a given moment. So now I'm just going to set this on here so that it's centered on that panel of designer series paper and my sentiment is straight. And there is your gift box. And then we'll center up that ribbon and you are all set to give a beautifully packaged gift to coworkers, teachers, anybody that you think could use um, one of these adorable bottles or even probably you could fit some other fun things in here as well. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions, please reach out and let me know. I would really appreciate it if you would share this video and also if you would um, tag me if you do any creating like this and um, also go over and like my YouTube page and or subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am trying to build up my membership or, or followers over there um, just so that we have a few more options when it comes to going live and doing videos because I do miss the interaction with you guys. So I hope you're all doing well. If you need to order any of these projects, there is a link in the description of this video, as well as all of the measurements that you need for both sizes. So thanks so much. You guys take care. Bye.